Hail Holy Mother, who gave birth to the King, who rules heaven and earth forever. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, grant we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. In my vision I, John, saw Mount Zion, and standing on it, a lamb who had with him, 144,000 people, all with his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. I heard a sound coming out of the sky, like the sound of the ocean or the roar of thunder. It seemed to be the sound of harpists playing their harps. There in front of the throne, they were singing a new hymn in the presence of the four animals and the elders a hymn that could only be learnt by the 144,000 who had been redeemed from the world. They follow the Lamb wherever he goes. They have been redeemed from amongst men to be the first fruits for God and for the Lamb. They never allow a lie to pass their lips and no fault can be found in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas, on the waters he made it firm. For this is the people that longs to see your face, who shall climb the mountain of the Lord, who shall stand in his holy place. The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him. Seek the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Be watchful and ready. You know not when the Son of Man is coming. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus looked up, he saw rich people putting their offerings into the treasury. Then he happened to notice a poverty-stricken widow, putting in two small coins. And he said, I tell you truly, this poor widow has put in more than any of them, for these have all contributed money they had over. But she from the little she had, has put in all she had to live on. 
the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. To God the Father Almighty, dear brothers and sisters, may every prayer of our heart be directed. For his will it is that all humanity should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. For the Holy Church of God, that the Lord may graciously watch over her and care for her. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For the peoples of all the world, that the Lord may graciously preserve harmony among them. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For all who are oppressed by any kind of need, that the Lord may graciously grant them relief. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For ourselves and our own community, that the Lord may graciously receive us as a sacrifice acceptable to himself. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. O God, our refuge and our strength, hear the prayers of your church. For you yourself are the source of all devotion, and grant, we pray, that what we ask in faith, we may truly obtain, through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and Merciful God bless and protect us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.